This video will explain how to verify values of web page elements with TestCom. When testing web pages, you're going to want to verify that your site is behaving properly. And quite often, this is done by verifying values of web page elements. TestComplete allows you to perform these types of verifications quickly and easily by using property checkpoints. For detailed information about these types of checkpoints, please see the video lesson Property Checkpoints up on our website. And today, we're going to learn how to use property checkpoints to verify the values of web page elements. And in my explanation, I'm going to use this sample web page, which is up on Automated QA's website. And what we want to do today is verify that the value in this cell is correct. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I've already launched Test Complete and I've created a new project. And you can see I've added Internet Explorer to my list of tested apps. I'm just going to double click on Internet Explorer here. And you can also see that I have added the website that I want to test right here to the command line parameters. So now I can tell Test Complete to launch my browser and it will automatically take me out to that website. So let's go ahead and record the test that's going to verify the data that's displayed in that web page's uh, cell. So I'm going to click the record the new test button right here. Test Complete minimizes down to this really small recording toolbar. I'm going to pop this out and I'm going to click the Run Tested Application button and I'm going to launch Internet Explorer. So now Test Complete's going to launch IE for me and it's going to take me out to my desired web page. Okay, here we are, the page is loaded. Now I'm going to log into my website with my username of tester and my password of test. Okay, we log in, and now we want to verify that the text in that first cell is equal to Paul Brown. And the way we're going to do that is by creating a property checkpoint. So let's come up here to our toolbar, and I'm going to select Create Property Checkpoint. That brings up the Property Checkpoint wizard. I'm just going to scoot that over a little bit. And now I'm going to select the item that I want to verify by dragging this Finder tool over onto that particular cell. So there we go, the cell is now highlighted. I'm going to release the mouse. Test Complete has grabbed a reference to that cell. I'm going to click Next. Now you'll notice in the default view here of the properties that are being shown, we don't see the actual text. That's because the inner text property is only going to be visible when we click this Advanced View link. So I'm going to click that right here. And now we can see every possible property that exists for that particular control and to filter them down I'm going to type in the word text right here you can see this inner text property contains Paul Brown that's what we want to verify so we're going to select that and click next and this last screen is just a summary which says we're going to look at this particular control we want to make sure that it's inner text property equals Paul Brown so I'm going to click finish all right my checkpoints now been created I'm going to log out of my site, close my browser down, and then we'll stop recording. So Test Complete has recorded the actions I've performed in the form of a keyword test. So right here, our first line item is invoking Internet Explorer. Right here is where we are putting in our credentials, our username, and our password. And right there is our property checkpoint. Okay, so now I'm going to run my test. And to do that, I just need to click this Run Test button. And Test Complete's going to take over and perform that same sequence of actions that we recorded just a moment ago. Okay, I fast forwarded a bit, and as you can see, Test Complete has generated its test results and is displaying those results here in the log panel. And I'm going to select my checkpoint message right here. And as you can see, our verification has passed, and there's some additional information down here in the remarks panel. And what this is telling us is that the expected value of Paul Brown did in fact match the found value of Paul Brown. So the checkpoint was successful, and if there had been a failure here, we'd be able to tell exactly what went wrong. We'd be able to see exactly what Test Complete found versus what it was expecting. This is really handy if you do encounter failures during the course of your tests. This concludes our video on verifying values of web page elements with Test Complete. You can also perform other verifications over web pages using special types of web checkpoints. For more information about these, see the video lessons Web Accessibility Checkpoints and Web Comparison Checkpoints up on our website. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at the email addresses on your screen. And we wish you luck and hope you enjoy automating your tests with TestComplete.